Cubase 6 offers many tools to make your multi-track drums even better with drum replacement, multi-track drum quantizing, as well as automatic tempo detection. Let's take a listen to this example here. Let's say that I want to actually augment the sounds by replacing the drum sounds with sounds in MIDI. Every Cubase user will have an instrument, Groove Agent 1. So we'll come over here, we'll look at Groove Agent 1, which includes many different fabulous drum kits. We'll take a look at our Maple kit. And as I want to come over here, we could just trigger different velocity levels. So what I want to do is actually take the existing kick drum and snare drum performance and replace those in the MIDI domain. Now this is all done through our new use of hit points. So if I double click on a part in my sample editor, I can actually see my threshold here. And the hit points have been dramatically improved over previous versions. So what I can do is just enable my hit points by clicking on the hit points tab here, adjust my threshold. And this way I could adjust the threshold to include my kick drums, but not like hi-hats or snare drums that are bleeding through. And then what I'm gonna do is on the very bottom, we'll click create MIDI notes and what we're going to do is we're going to retain the velocity of the original performance and we're going to automatically place these on a pitch of C1 on the first selected MIDI track which is where my Groove Agent 1 was set to so I'll hit OK and now as we wanted to go to our snare track we'll do the same thing so we'll come right over here to our snare track double click we'll adjust our threshold and as we adjust our threshold here, we'll not include the kick bleed through. And I will come over here and we'll place this on the same MIDI track on pitch of D1. Hit OK. So now if we want to actually take a look at our new newly created MIDI track, we come right here at the very bottom and I'll see both my kick and snare here. Now, if I wanted to combine these two parts, I just grab my glue gun and alt, because there's two parts stacked on top of each other. And now when I want to go look at it, I can now see both my kick and my snare. So let's go ahead and take a listen to it. So we'll start off here. And we can see that we're now firing off the samples. And let's say I wanted to actually mute the original tracks have the MIDI tracks. And I will augment with the original audio tracks and MIDI. So very, very easy to actually replace your drum sounds in MIDI very simply, and yet you still have everything in the MIDI domain, so you can do all your editing, change velocities, without having to kind of have just a phantom uh, note that's played through a drum triggering program. Everything will be right there. Now, if I wanted to actually listen to just a drum performance, and let's listen to how rhythmically tight this performance is. We'll go ahead and play it, and we're going to go just solo the drums, which are in a folder. And then if I wanted to come here, we'll turn on my click track now. we can see that there's some timing discrepancies and that the drums can be tighter to the click. So we've already found kind of the uh, hit points for our different parts here. And I want to, since the hi-hat is a rhythmically significant point, I'm going to find the hit points just for the hi-hat. So I'm going to come right over here and we'll adjust our threshold. And again, the hi-hat we want to kind of bypass the bleed through through kick and snare. And now when I would come here, we're going to, since these are placed into a folder, we want to now come over here and apply group editing. Now, if they're not in a folder already, we've added a new function where you could select all of your drum tracks, right click, and choose move selected tracks to new folder. And this would automatically create a folder track for you and make the process even easier and faster than before. Now, if I come right here, we can have group editing. So when I enable this, and I could do this by hitting the letter K as well, 
on my computer keyboard. Anytime that I make an edit, it's automatically applied to all of my tracks. So if I wanted to move, all the parts are automatically going to be moved together as a single entity. We will now come right over here into our quantize panel. And as I click right here, we can now see that we'll open up our multi-track drum quantize. Now the trick with doing multi-track drum quantizing is to make sure that all the tracks are phase aligned so that if I quantize and move a snare hit earlier that that snare hit in the overheads will also move into bleeding through in my hi-hat microphone. So what we've done is we've created slice rules and I could apply just by clicking here different priorities to what I actually want to slice to be. So if I want the slices to favor the kick and snare over my hi-hat, so I can place a priority. And what it's done is it's applied the hit points across all the different tracks at this priority level that I've defined in my slice rules. So now what I want to do is actually click on slice. And as I do that, it's now sliced across every single track across the entire performance based on my slice rules. Now what I want to do is actually quantize these two different values. So if I want these to be quantized to 16th notes, I could also do iterative quantization. Uh, or if I wanted to apply different swings, I could apply different swing percentages as well. So now I'm going to quantize these parts to 16th notes. I just hit Q. Now if we zoom in, we'll notice that there's going to be a number of little gaps where the events were removed to be on the beat. So what we've done is instead of having to worry about uh, that little gap between each of the tracks is we'll now crossfade all of those events. So now we'll kind of zoom out and let's listen to our drums with our click track. And now everything is perfectly quantized and then you have a very, very tight drum performance. We'll go ahead to solo the drums. undo we can go back listen to our unquantized drums now our quantized drums so quantizing your drums easier than ever before now our hit points can also be done to actually come up with another useful function coming up with doing tempo maps of existing performances. Let's say that we had a band perform and they didn't play to a click track, but we wanted to have the convenience of editing to a click track. So what we could do now is we'll go ahead and listen to this performance with a click. And we can see that there's no correlation with the click track to what is going on with the actual track. So what I'm going to do is I could take a track, I'm going to select my kick drum track, and then under the project menu, we'll select tempo detection. And this is going to do an analysis of our entire kick track, and this is a five minute song, it'll take about 20 seconds, and it's going to automatically generate a tempo map for us. So this is going to allow us to actually, when we make a cut, we can make that cut with the bar beat correlation. So he, here we see our tempo map, and we'll go ahead and kind of listen to it. And we'll solo our bass drum and snare. And now we can see that that's actually the tempo track is on the offbeat, so we can actually have an offbeat correction. Now as it's done this, the time signature here has been changed to 1-4 time because it doesn't know if we're in 4-4 four, four, or 3-4. And in this example, we actually have a pickup note. So we'll come right over here. So if I actually want uh, a measure to start at a particular time, I'm going to zoom in. And then on our signature track, I'm I could come right over here and say right at this point in time, I want it to be switched to 4-4 four, four time. So now I'll just draw in, we'll exit our tempo editing, I'll draw in right in this click, a 4-4 four, four meter, and now we have a perfect tempo map of our entire performance. And we can see our tempo fluctuating here in our transport bar. So as you can see, whether you want to do drum replacement, whether you want to quantize your multi-track drums, 
or make a tempo map of an existing performance, the new hit points and multi-track drum handling inside of Cubase makes it easier than ever before.